Holmes, Mr. George Lucas to see you. Go ahead and send him in, Miss Pennybacker. George, baby, come on in, relax, sit down. Welcome to Quagmire Studios. I'm Nick Smith. And I'm Mike Jones. What do you got for us there? Is it anything like that uh, American Graffiti thing you did? What is this? Something new? Something different? Something that will... Knock our... Socks off? <laughs> what is it? What do you got, George? Science. Fiction. Ah. George, baby. Science fiction doesn't sell. Sci-fi? Bye-bye. Wait, wait. Okay, it's okay, George. Uh, all right, tell us about the movie Star Wars. Hmm, nice title. A long time ago in another galaxy. <laughs> What's that? Milky Way? I prefer Mars. <laughs> yeah, Mars is a galaxy. That's science stuff. Now, give us characters, George. Luke Skywalker, Indian kid. <sighs> Who else? Obi-Wan Kenobi? Ken Obi-Wan? What is that, George? Polish? No, no, you're, you're thinking Kenobi. That, that's Italian. You're thinking cannoli. <sighs> is that his name, George? Obi-Wan Kenobi? Kenobi, Kenobi. Maybe he's an Italian baker. <laughs> uh, oh, and they're going off to fight the evil empire? <laughs> no good. That will not sell in England. Now, see, nobody likes the commies, George. So how about they fight the Galactic Communist Party? They could be from the Red Star. Okay, George. Characters. More characters. Yeah. Hans Solo. Christ, George. You know what that sounds like? Han Solo? He's not a fruit, is he? No, he's he's obviously Swedish. Hero name. We need a new hero name. Gerdeckerdorf. Hans Gerdeckerdorf. Now, what does he do, George? He's a daredevil pilot. Great. Now, what does he fly? Oh, George. It looks like a piece of junk. It's a damn flying saucer, George. But, but what is this? It's, it's an X-wing? X-wing? Four wings. It's a biplane. Oh, good. We can use that leftover footage we have from uh, uh, the, the, the Crates Over Creek, that, that World War One thing we did. Remember? Yeah, it'll fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a co-pilot. Look. Great. Big. Big. Hairy guy named Chewbacca. Southern, <laughs> huh? Now, here. Now, this Southern, this Chewbacca, has made a vow not to shave again until they win the war. Now, I could get behind that, George. Women's lip is big right now, George. Okay, all right, we need a broad. What do you got for me? Okay, that's good. We got a broad. What is this? Leah? Leia? Orga Organa? What? Like, is she a hippie? Is, is she from Fresno? Oh, no, 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 George. Listen, listen. The 60s are over, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dress her up in white, okay? We're gonna fix her hair, all right? We're gonna make her real pretty. Hell, we'll make her a princess. How's that, George? <laughs> George, George, stop banging your head against the wall. Now, George, now, you gotta listen to us now. We're the guys that made Blood Couch from Mars. With that awful stunt, man. Remember that guy? <sighs> now, we can handle sci-fi, so, okay. So... Tell us about the plot. Just, just tell us about the plot. Okay. Luke is a farmer. Now, what does he farm? It doesn't matter. We, it doesn't matter. Skip that. Father's dead, and Obi-Wan gives him his father's lightsaber. What is a lightsaber, George? George, that's a flashlight. Yeah, and with this flashlight, he's gonna teach the kid about the Force? Okay, George, what is the Force? It comes from the rocks and the trees 
and surrounds everything? It binds the universe together. That's gravity, George. Well, now wait. Now, if, if this Obi-Wan, uh, if he can control gravity, then that, that, that means he can fly. So the flying Italian baker gives the Indian kid his father's lucky flashlight. Why is it a lucky flashlight? Maybe he worked in a coal mine. Maybe he was a night watchman. Maybe he was a night watchman in the coal mine. So why is the kid's father dead? I mean, tell us, George. Yeah. Why? Oh, this is where the villain comes in. The villain killed him. Sort of. You want to explain that, George? All right, George, uh, calm down now, George. Just, just tell us about the villain. Darth Vader. <laughs> Look at him. He's big, he's bad, and he's got one of those lucky flashlights. I want one. Maybe he killed Luke's father. Maybe he is Luke's father. No, stupid idea. Sorry, no, George. Sorry, George. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this Darth Vader now. Why is he villainous? He's, okay, he kills people. Uh, that can be villainous, but like how many people? Uh, dozens, uh, hundreds? Thousands? Millions. millions. Like. Like big cities, like, like, like Tokyo. Yeah. Now what's he use? Giant robots? Oh, oh God. There are giant robots. Good. The golden robot? A silver robot? Valuable, huh? Now the silver robot is about three feet tall and has no head. No head. No arms? No arms. No legs. No legs. And it goes... Beep. Beep? Not very villainous, George. Sounds like an intercom. Oh, now wait. He's a good guy. Okay. Okay. All right, so what about the golden robot? Is he any bigger? Is it? Uh, maybe five feet tall? It looks like... The Tin Woodsman from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Does he sing in dance, George? Is there is there singing in this? Okay, okay, we're keeping it straight. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it straight. Oh, okay. All right. So he's a good guy too. All right. So, so what is Vader using to destroy these cities? The Death Star. Ooh. Okay, George. What is the Death Star, and what does it have to do with those coal mines? What is a coal mine anyway? A coal mine is a great bit. Well, it's like a, it's like a deep hole, and it's pushed up, squeezed up dinosaurs and stuff. Okay, um, so I get it, I get it. So this Death Star causes these dead dinosaurs to come up through these coal mines and turn into live dinosaurs and attack the cities. Love it! Love it! <sighs> Sorry, George, we had to steal your thunder a little bit. George, you gotta understand, we're, we're in the biz, and we kind of see this thing coming. So let's try to wrap up this sci-fi thingy of yours here. Okay, so from what I understand, you got this Darth Vader, okay, and what he's doing is using the Death Star to push up these dead dinosaurs, turn them into live dinosaurs, and attack the cities with them. And Obi-Wan Cannoli, the flying Italian, <laughs> and, and, and the Indian kid uh, with the lucky flashlight, yeah. they're trying to protect uh, the city there where Princess Organic has her garden, and she doesn't want to leave. So, they hire Hans Gerdeckerdorf and his hairy co-pilot that, that's not going to shave until they win the war to protect the cities using their junk biplane. 
I love it! <laughs> George, I love it! But just one thing. Why is Darth Vader doing all this? Yeah, why? Because he wants to steal the dancing golden robot! George, it sings! Ah, <laughs> George, I love it! I love it! Hey, George, hey, come hey, George, George come George, on! George, wait a minute! George, that's too bad, man. Yeah, awesome. I thought we had this. Kids would have loved it, too. All right, really? No. I'm serious. All right, who's yeah. next? Okay, let's see. We got Spielsberg pitching a shark movie? Shark? Nah. We'll make him do the thing with the living dinosaurs. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah.